So the best way to publish research or read research papers in Scopus or Web of Science are going to be displayed in this video. Stay tuned till the end. Research finding and publication can be done using different, let's say, research databases like Scopus, Web of Science, among other famous publishers like Routledge, Springer, uh, Elsevier, among others. So in this tutorial, I'm going to draw comparison between the two gigantic, so to speak, databases, let's say Scopus and Web of Science, and see how we can submit papers to them or to journals indexing them for consideration. So let's start with a brief comparison of the two databases. So as you can see here, we have Web of Science, which is in fact a multidisciplinary citation database that includes the Science Citation Index, uh, the Social Sciences Citation Index, the Arts and Humanities Citation Index, uh, etc. Then we have Scopus, covers a lot of disciplines including science, technology, medicine, social sciences, etc. We have other databases in medicine, let's say we have PubMed, in science we have IEEE Explore, we have Directory of Open Access Journals. In education, we have Eric. So we have different databases, but these two are famous. So Web of Science consists of these four citation indices. Let's say Science Citation Index Expanded, Social Sciences Citation Index, Arts and Humanities, Emerging Sources Citation Index, etc. So we took the data from these two sources and we compared them so as to find the trends. So as you can see in this comparison, Web of Science, these are the types of journal of, of Web of Science. We have mostly journal citation reports because this combines two indicators, followed by Science Citation Index Expanded and Emerging Source Citation Index. Whereas for Scopus, almost all publications are conference proceedings. You can see the form even an outlier, then followed by Scopus sources. So this is the main comparison. Let's say a comparison in terms of the publishers. Scopus is dominated by Elsevier and universities like Taylor and Francis Cambridge, let's say uh, publishers and Springer, as you can see. So the bolder the words, the more frequent it has been mentioned in the database. Whereas for Web of Science, you can see here we have Tyler and Francis Routledge, followed by LTD, meaning companies, followed by Sage, Emerald, Wiley, Springer, Elsevier, Cambridge, and Oxford, among others. So these are the most predominant publishers. As for the journal titles, we have mostly international review, history, economic, health, research, management, European economics for Scopus. Whereas for Web of Science, we have engineering, we have sciences, research, science, medicine, management, uh, chemistry, among others. So mostly engineering here. So these are some journal finders and suggestions. We have journal finder by Elsevier. We have the master journal list by Clarivit Analytic, which is Web of Science. We have Scopus, etc. And we have different recommendation uh, websites. So let's just go to the Scopus uh, database. Here we can search by title. Like we enter the title here and search for journals. And if we want, let's say first quartile, second quartile, third quartile, fourth quartile, so we can filter the search from here. We can also display only open access journals. And we have uh, different, let's say, source type, be it journals, book series, conference, proceedings, among others. Let's look for, for example, applied linguistics or just linguistics. So we have 40 results, we can filter this based on quartile, they are all first quartile. So we have this association for computational linguistics, it has the highest site score, followed by this, by this, etc. So these are the top journals. I can just visit their website here or I can download the Scopus source list. I can filter by year as well. I can sort them here, etc. So we have different ways to, to do this. Then the second database is a uh, web of science master journal list. Here we can have this match manuscript. Uh, suppose that I have a manuscript with a title, etc. I can just, so I can just copy the title and paste it, copy the abstract as well 
and paste it to the master journal list and then click find matches or journals so here are some of the journals that are being displayed so i have this journal that i can accept the paper uh, it's a match score etc then we have international uh, journal of advanced computer science applied sciences basel so here i think this algorithm does not work properly because it provides us with some of the journals that may not uh, publish the paper that's why i do not recommend it so you can basically search using uh, journals so here let's say we have field of psychology we can just type it the search features are not advanced actually so we can sort by relevance we have cognitive psychology Community Psychology, American Journal of Psychology. These results are more accurate. As you can see, we can here view the profile page, etc. Then I can see the other databases like Taylor and Francis, uh, Springer, uh, Elsevier, Journal Finder again. I can just paste the abstract and find journals. Though this one here, I can filter by the time to the first decision, impact factor, time to publication among others so again it's not accurate as you can see uh, we can just uh, sort the data this way otherwise I can just search for journals or find journals okay then we have the Simago journal rank here I can just check the impact factor of each journal and the subfield of the impact factor so this is in brief how you can find journals for publication and even for material reading. If you have questions or remarks, do not hesitate to post them below and see you soon.